Welcome to Electromagnetics Theory Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you three very interesting examples based on magnetic field in this video. So let us begin this session with first question. So my question is, two parallel wires separated by distance D are carrying current I in the same direction. So here we are given with two parallel wire and both are carrying current in same direction. The magnetic field along the line running parallel to this wires and midway between them is how much. So here we are dealing with to see what will be the value of magnetic field midway in between these two wires, right? So to identify magnetic field, first thing that we need to know is what will be the direction of magnetic field. So if I say, see this is the page and two wires are like this, right? Now if I want to calculate magnetic field for one wire, then if current is going inside the page, then by using right hand, thumb direction will be there in the direction of current and fingers direction will identify direction of magnetic field. So if current is going inside the page, magnetic field will be in clockwise direction. And if you see thumb that is there in outside the page direction, right, then as per fingers direction, magnetic field that will be in counterclockwise direction. So let me show you here first how it is happening. So if I say this is the cross section of wire and current that is going inside the page, right, then magnetic field direction that will be there in clockwise direction, right, you can see magnetic field direction that is there in clockwise direction and if you have current which is there in outward to the page, right, then magnetic field direction that will be in counterclockwise direction. So this is the basic that one should know first. Now see here, if I say I'm having two wires and both are having current that is outward to the page. You see outward to the page, current is there with both of this wire. In that case, magnetic field due to both of this wire that we are dealing with to calculate at midway means at here, right? Now if you see the direction due to this wire, so that will be happening like this. And if you see this wire, that is also having current outward to the page, right? So here even there will be counterclockwise direction magnetic field. So due to this wire, magnetic field that will be in counterclockwise direction, you see. So if you calculate magnetic field, at center means at midway of these two wire then that will be in opposite direction to the each other and that will cancel its magnitude so magnetic field at center it will be zero because of this two wire so our answer will be this for this question let us have next question so here in next question a steady current is flowing in x direction through each two infinitely long wires at y is equals to plus or minus l by 2 as shown in figure. So you see in figure this is y axis and steady current is flowing through the wire. Here cross symbol is given means current that is going in this direction, right? And here wires are infinitely long right which is placed at y is equals to plus or minus l by 2 so definitely that has to be placed like this right and current direction that is there in this direction the permeability of medium is mu 0 the magnetic field b at 0 comma l comma 0 is how much now what is 0 comma l comma 0 right so 0 comma l comma 0 so you see this is y axis and 0 comma l comma 0 that will be definitely there on the y axis. So here somewhere there will be 0 comma l comma 0 where y is equals to l over here. Right. Now we are a little bit to see magnetic field due to both of these wires. Now as 
करंट इज गोइंग इन दिस डिरेक्शन राइट एज पर राइट हैंड थम्ब रूल वी आर डील विथ टू सी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो हियर सी डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट विल बी एज पर राइट हैंड थम्ब रूल सो दैट विल बी हैपनिंग लाइक दिस राइट सो हियर ड्यू टू दिस वायर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट विल बी हैपनिंग लाइक दिस नाउ ड्यू टू दिस वायर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट विल बी अगेन हैपनिंग लाइक दिस इट विल बी रेडियल सो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिकॉज ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दिस वायर एज पर राइट एंड थम्ब रूल दैट विल बी देर इन दिस डिरेक्शन राइट सो लेट अस कैलकुलेट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिकॉज ऑफ वायर कैरिंग करंट आई सो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू वायर कैरिंग करंट आई दैट इज म्यू जीरो आई बाय टू पाई डिस्टेंस राइट नाउ इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर फॉर दिस वायर डिस्टेंस इज एल बाय टू राइट सो हियर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वायर दैट इज म्यू जीरो आई डिवाइड बाय टू पाई इन टू एल बाय टू and if you observe the direction then direction is there in the direction of z direction right so this is there in a z direction right now if you calculate magnetic field because of this wire then if i say that is b2 then that has to be as per the basic formula mu 0i by 2 pi d here a distance d that will be you see that will be this is l plus l by 2 so that has to be 3l by 2 and direction is same you see it is there in z direction so it is there in az direction right now total magnetic field because of this two wire that will be addition of both so in that we just need to take mu 0i by 2 pi common and l also common so this has to be 1 by 1 by 2 so that will be 2 plus this will be 2 by 3 right this 2 will go in numerator and it is there in az direction so if you simplify this and this is 6 plus 2 8 by 3 now this 2 and this 8 will make it to mu 0 i into 4 divided by 3 pi l into az direction so our answer is this i hope you have understood this let us have one more interesting question based on magnetic field the magnitude of magnetic flux density b in micro tesla at the center of loop of wire wound as a regular hexagon of side length l is equals to 1 meter carrying current i is equals to 1 ampere and placed in vacuum as shown in figure is how much so here you see in figure we have been given with hexagon and at center we are dealing with to find magnetic flux density one should know see magnetic flux density and magnetic field both are same right so there is no difference in between magnetic field and magnetic flux density calculation and whenever you have been given with polygon here we have been given with hexagon you see for polygon basic formula of magnetic field calculation is mu 0 ni by 2 pi r into sin of pi by n where n is number of sides for hexagon here n is equals to 6 let me write that formula here so here you can see the basic formula is mu 0 ni by 2 pi r into sin of pi by n where n is number of sides in polygon and r is distance with respect to center and that should be perpendicular distance right so here we have been given with n that is 6 for hexagon now we just need a value of r here we have been given with uh length is 1 meter for this wire and current is 1 ampere right so see for hexagon this will be making equilateral triangle 
right so one should know in hexagon this will be equilateral triangle where each of this side is 1 meter as this is 1 meter this has to be 1 meter and this has to be 1 meter so this perpendicular distance that is our equation right so if you see in equilateral triangle this angle will be 60 degree so opposite side that will be sign of diagonal right so here our r that has to be 1 sin 60 and sin 60 is root 3 by 2 right so we have all the values we just need to place the, that in this formula of magnetic field so mu 0 that is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 for hexagon n is equals to 6 i is 1 that is given to us divided by 2 pi r so 2 pi into r is root 3 by 2 for this particular case into sine of pi by 6 right now let us simplify this so this 4 pi and 2 pi that will make it to 2 this 2 will go in numerator and sine pi by 6 that is half so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and you will be observing this is 0 0.6928 into 10 to the power minus 6 tesla so our answer in micro tesla that will be 0 0.6928 micro tesla so at center magnetic field that will be 0 0.6928 micro tesla and if you observe current direction so that is happening in this direction you see right so as per right hand thumb rule you can calculate magnetic field direction so at center it will be coming out of the page right it will be coming out of the page as per right hand thumb rule so i hope you have understood this video if you have further any queries you just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you